Oh, this is going to be a really fun show. What's up, guys? So this is episode 11 of Drinks and Dogs, and um, I'm happy to be doing it with my pack, my guys, my family, people I consider my family. Uh, and, you know, we have Aaron, Matt, Lee, we have Brandon over here in the background. Everyone say hi. So we're going to start off with the normal cheers. And these guys are actually drinking, so this is going to be a real fun. Oh, Brandon, drinking too? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm here. Um, and I think we're missing Mo too. All right. <laughs> so um, let's start. Let's start off with what everyone is drinking because I think that'll be a fun. One also today, because um, Katie's giving so much shit about my intro, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in a different game into drinks and dogs. Um, I become very repetitive as far as the words that I use. Uh, so we're going to start off with uh, using the words that I use. So if I say, what is it? Uh, I always, oh. Well, the church is really <laughs> The church is really the heck out of the Lord. We have a, a Brazilian church right behind us, and apparently they're turning the fuck up more than us. <laughs> I feel like we need to, like, cop away everybody. I mean, the church. Seems to say that. <laughs> Jesus. Apparently they know we're here. So apparently. Yeah. They're like, he's the devil is talking. We're, we need to turn this bitch up. Here. All right, so anyway, yeah, it's the words. It's I always say. It's easy. It's easy. Is essentially one of them right now? No, there's what? It's for the most part. For the most part, I always say, and it's easy. No, what was I? Um, I was speaking with somebody. No, it's the other one. I think you haven't said that one more. It might not be. That's that my rotation. That, that might not be current. I think that's not what that's on my rotation. So, Brandon, can you get a piece of paper and we can write this down here real quick? <laughs> oh that way we know. All right. Doing it. So, if you guys were ever concerned or, under, or thought about how Primal Canine or the people who were behind Primal Canine was or how they interact, this is going to be a good episode for you because you're going to see us at the rawest form and we're going to be um, drinking. So, it'll be very fun. <laughs> This is how we uh a notepad. What do we say? I always say You're alive. Is there's a lot of other options. There's a lot of other options. There's a lot of other options. Show me after. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what, what are we drinking today, Aaron? What are you drinking? Uh, Jameson ginger beer. Matthew. Oh, rum chata. Because I don't really drink, and that's uh, about as good as I can do. Lee? Uh, I have a white rum and coke with a little bit of lime. Oh, then, I put some of the <laughs> then I put some squirt in first, because I've never tried white rum and squirt before, and it tasted like bad. And then I added coke to the rest of it, squeezing lime in. For the record, um, Lee and Matt don't ever drink any water. No, really. But literally. Like, I've awesome. had two sips and I feel a little bit warm. Oh, I'm getting warm right Like, here. I can feel like the warm turning up. I'm like, so Lee, this is grinding gonna... it, like, grind it in. <laughs> so, this is going to yep. be very, very, very fun yeah. for you guys. Yeah, especially when we get home. <laughs> I think we're just sleeping. Oh, we're all sleeping on the mats. This is not comfortable. I slept on it before. It's yeah, don't try to talk about it. I've slept on this before. Reverse psychology. I'm taking it. No, no, I've slept. Yeah, but you've slept on this. I when she was like, bro, like 14 weeks old, I slept on this with her. Yeah, it ain't that, ain't that comfortable. <laughs> All right, so Sorry. we're going to get back to the normal D&D stuff here, not Dungeons and Dragons or whatever the fuck's going on back over there. Um, <laughs> so how we start off, drinks and dogs, um, with basically introductions of to how... You know, these people have become a part of our, you know, into drinks and dogs. But in this part, it's like how these people have become a part of the, the primal canine life. And then we're going to go into some Q&A and probably some weird banter. Matt might drop his pants. Lee might lift his shirt up. Who knows what happens. Um, yeah, usually it's, a good time. It, it's usually probably how this stuff works with us. <laughs> so I will start to person to the right of me. What is your experience in dogs? My experience in dogs. 
Um, I started off in rescue, and so with you, a long time ago, like 15, 14 years now. So I went from rescue, fox dream, dream rehab stuff, to um, got my first mal in 2016. Um, so started like working out here, doing working dog stuff, handling servers, being malice. Um, and now I'm here, and I'm in charge of this guy. <laughs> this beautiful girl right here. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I'm in charge of these two as well, so. <laughs> it's not so bad. <laughs> she's lying. She's lying. She's, she's fucking lying. lying in her ass. She's lying right Somebody's now. You understand? Sugar coating. Trying to be nice. Oh. It's like wrangling a bunch of fucking toddlers. <laughs> They're just everyone's big. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, John Katz is on here. What's up, brother? Katz? Corey Styles is on here too. Can you drink more? Uh, David, you said What did you say? You need to drink more? Yeah. So we need to drink more. <sighs> Have you been watching? Essentially. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> is that one? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Matthew, you're up next. Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next Um, Let's see. Uh, I got into dogs working. I, didn't, I just love dogs. I hated my work. <laughs> it was good money, but I hated it. It, was, it just sucked. And so uh, I had to make a decision if I wanted to just keep doing that or do what I loved. And I found a place that was a daycare and a boarding center and hopped in, jumped in there, and just got in the trenches. If I'm going to do dog stuff, I'm going to make sure I can clean up this and shit all day. And, uh, went down the training road. Uh, we found Guys, you're trying to tell a story here? Yeah. All right. Can you praise elsewhere? <laughs> so you uh, found Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I found Jesus in the boot. <laughs> uh, you know, I did that for a long time. Uh, I got into training, and I just wanted to make sure that I could do something that was meaningful. I didn't want to just, like... Uh, daycare, watch people's dogs all day. I want to do something cool and train dogs to make people's lives a little bit easier and fun and cool shit. I find this guy and he's like, here, put this suit on. Here, check this shit out. Oh, here, just stand there. Just put your elbows out and run the straight line. <laughs> Don't turn around. <laughs> Don't catch you. Don't worry about it. Just put your head up when you fall. It did take me a while to convince you to get in the suit. What, a week? Yeah. <laughs> Usually it's first day. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, never turn back, for sure. All right, Lee. Uh, fuck, quick story. Started working for you just, like, walking dogs and volunteering. Just keeping my mouth shut, my eyes open of the shit that was going down around me at Earl, because it was kind of, like, gnarly at the time with everything going down. Like, it was just an urban environment that I was just completely alien to. And just craziness. Just craziness of, like, regular obedience to bite work, to the dogs flying through cars, and I'm like... Yes. And then I remember having the uh, the talk with you in your office, me telling you essentially, like, I'm ready to burn my candle at both ends with this shit. And then I think that's when that first blood, I think we did. Oh, new blood. The new blood, new blood with Dozer. That was my first bite where we slammed you on, slammed you on my face. I don't really remember, like, ever being told to get in the suit. I think I just wanted to do it, maybe. I can't really remember. Um, fast forward a few years, more training. Yeah, that was when we talked about this, the the skiing thing because you're like i'd like to like the skiing thing like the adrenaline stuff and i was like all right cool I was like i got something for you yeah <laughs> now remember um one of the dogs i think i first started
Trash. Your insoles. Oh, Ta-da! We're fucking back, apparently. Back in mode. So, I know we got some messages. Um, we know we're cut off, so yeah, we sad. know that because we're on this side. Um, and this was supposed to be the easiest way to do it. Could have done this at home if it was in the connection with this shit. But fuck this internet. Actually, fuck Spectrum, um, the internet, not my friends. Or <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not Ricky or Spectrum. Yeah. Yeah. No, not, yeah. not Spectrum. Just fuck, the, no. fuck the internet company. Um, so we left off with uh, Lee's story. So sum it up in like two, like in a minute. Oh, just because he cut off? Yeah. Uh, pick up poop, watch dogs, learn train, got given dog, took bites, still here. Perfect. When few words do trick. <laughs> few words do trick. <laughs> we, so we all watch the world. office. <laughs> see the world or see world. <laughs> I could have explained <laughs> way more by now. China. <laughs> Thank you, Spectrum Internet. You guys suck assholes and you're ruining our show. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Yep. It, definitely. We are deaf. Can we use another phone to see the questions? So you Aaron have to, like, it. So you know, like, oh, peer into it. I'm actually gonna okay. get off of this here real quick. Here. We're gonna split full a full screen. screen. All right. Oh, yeah. 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 So, uh, so we've all. This is gonna tie into another question that we we got on here or on our stuff. So we've all kind of been through the ringer <laughs> in Primal Canine and with everything we've done. Um, let's talk about what. It, actually, let's talk about this one. This is a fun one first. What is the least favorite saying that you guys have that I say all the time? Least? Yeah. It's easy. Because you're like, what the fuck, it's easy. <laughs> like, when you don't even know what you're doing. Like, oh, it's easy. And it's like. <laughs> uh, oh, I'll say, uh, I hate it's easy. And I can remember, distinctly remember one of the first times it really stuck out to me that you said it and were like repeating it. And I was like, what the fuck? So we were at uh, Bascom. We were in the back and we were talking about uh, getting a dog in like a, a good heel position and then having a move back. Oh, yeah, we see that. Like, <laughs> yeah, we see like, that. How do I get Hila to come back? Like, I don't get it. And he's like, well, I've never taught malice, but I could probably teach him right now and show you what I would do. It's harder for me to put it in. Let me just let me just show you because he was trying to explain it. And I was just like, Fuck, just, just show me. Like, oh, yeah, cool. He gets malice out. Grab the malice. Goes, yep. Goes, All right. So you're going to try this. And walks forward with him and backs up. Malice kind of does a little wiggle and he's like, oh, okay. And he's like, okay, well, if that happens, do this. Now try this. And all of a sudden he just fucking does it. I'm like, excuse me? Hang on. He goes, well, I mean, it's easy. I just, I just. <laughs> no, it's not. Not for everybody else, asshole. Okay? It doesn't work like that. Uh, and then it's just continued on every, and you mean you ask a question or, hey, how did you get, like, when you put the dog's body, how did you line? Oh, it's easy. No, no, no. Yeah, I've learned to pry more now. I'm like, bullshit. No, no, what did you do with the foot? No, no. That thing there that you did there, show me that. You're like, oh, no, it's the easy bit. How many times have we said it's easy, by the way? I'm not, no. We, we're not we, easy. Don't have to, we don't have to it's say easy. it's Mike saying it. I can just purposely say it. That's not fun. I have no idea. Oh, it's oh, fun for me. All right, let's cross All right, Aaron. Danette, if you're watching, I'm going to need a ride home. What is Miley's favorite saying that you have? Fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> does he actually say it out loud, or is he just like? No, it's like what she hears because he says it mentally <laughs> like lots and lots of times. It's a look of determination. It gives you that look. Like, it's like the look. Like, the fuck it, I'm gonna do it gonna anyway. Fuck it. Don't do it. He just goes. You're not working it up today. And just walks out. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> the best part is like because Lee always calls me out on it on like the smirk. <laughs> I know it. I know it. you're like, you'll fucking be mischievous now that you're going to do something bad. Or do something you know you shouldn't. Brandon does the smirk. As soon as Mike goes, hey, Brandon, uh, go grab the hit and sleep. <laughs> and then he will see. Eric, you're nazi. And then, well, what are we doing? <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. And it's like, no, why are you smiling already? Why? Why? At least, at least now I feel like there's like clear cut, like, let's do this. Whereas a Basco. So what are we doing? Getting on the roof. Wait, wait, like, wait, 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 take a bite? Um, go you know what, go hide. There's a series of shelves. Why don't you climb on the top one? And if he grabs you, just fall. 
It'll be all right. So Did let's talk about the Bascom one. The Bascom, <laughs> like, uh, talk about the Bascom first, because that's, we went from, we went from Earl to Bascom, and then we went to the shit at Bascom, but when we were at Bascom, that, that's I feel like, there was a house, like, does it, maybe most people know what it is, like a house with a kitchen there, yeah. like a bas- massive backyard, Two with a shed, rooms. we had a way to get up on the roof that we probably shouldn't have done, but we did it anyway, we took bites up there, that was fucking amazing. Like the environmental stresses that we used in the house, like the no light, low light stuff with Cerberus sending with a laser pen over that fucking sofa and hit me in the face. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like there was so many random things that we did late at night and then just turn the oven on and just eat. Ate. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like after a little bit of fatigue, do another random scenario where a dog would just get brought out and you get tacked on somewhere or like muzzle punch or. Then my favorite thing about like that place was the fact that like, we could all just like hang out. It was like a house. It was a house that we worked in. We were just like, we, were yeah. tra- we had two front training rooms where we had the face of like, Primal, remember the door? You go, okay, hiya. You know what I mean? Like you turn the face on, like in back of house, you were like, right, they fucking get some white work done. It was a, this. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Just check it out. Somebody yeah. would be making a giant pocket macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Like that was like one of the coolest things. We had the drive-through window yeah. for food. And we had <laughs> really that I never made. That I never made. Literally, we had like. Always make me breakfast. Dude, like it was always like the <laughs> same thing. Awesome. Like, the kitchen was so perfectly aligned food. where you could go to your training room and like, oh, actually, like what's in the fridge? Like, uh, like <laughs> quick cupboards for the snacks, and then you're eating them on the way to the thing. Yeah, the snacks, the snacks. Yeah, I've stopped at that room once, yeah. but once or twice before. She'd yeah. come with like drinks and chips and snacks, and she just hooked us up. There's little fruit before. snack things that you could munch. They were like the little, <laughs> like little packets that you could munch on the way to the right. kitchen. As you can tell, we like our snacks. <laughs> So, so you hadn't made much in your tradition, like, yeah, yeah, all day. So with with the yeah, all day. with the Baskin facility, I think like the and like in my opinion, I feel like that's what brought us all together. Like I felt like that's what brought us, you know, together as like you know, family, like at least like us four, uh, with everything, because that's where we went from like having this giant crew of just like a bunch of people, and then as soon as we got cut off from the city. It was just like, and then I got sick, I got cancer, so like everything like just literally just shrunk down really quickly. Yeah, we and should, I, me- I remember the true colors. Yeah, I remember this. I remember the days like you know having to have to sleep in that other room and like you know when my powers turned off, I was out of the other place Mal and like Mel, <laughs> motherfucking Mel, <laughs> Jen, if you're watching this, <laughs> Malice, <laughs> Malice ate my last five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in the room. Hard, I walked right? in the room and there were shreds of dollars. You didn't eat the whole thing. You just, you just, just shredded, shredded it. it. I got a big CD fall off that recliner. Like, was possibly one of the funniest things. Was the, the shirtless times? <laughs> the shirtless, like the recliner like this, and then just falling forward. Because <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people always ask us about, like, you know, the journey as far as like, you know, Primal has been and like how we've ended up where we're ended up now. And I think a lot of it, like for me, a lot of it, I always forget like where we started and where we are. Like I always forget like that stuff because we, I mean, for most companies, like the stuff we've already gone through has been like insane. Like there's, there's most companies with bankruptcy, boom, right away. We could have lost it at Bascom and we <laughs> should have lost it at Bascom, but we know we're a bunch of assholes and we're just like, no, we ain't doing that stuff. Like somewhere else to try to lose it. We're somewhere else, else to try to lose <laughs> yeah. it. Like, we just seem to roll the whole bed there. It's funny that, right? Yeah, I mean, who knows why would anybody? <laughs> the only reason I think we haven't is because Aaron doesn't have a beard. Yeah. It's cool. If there was all four beards, we were screwed. I, think, I still think we'd be fine. So I would be fine. <laughs> like, you'd be I mean, okay. I mean, Aaron, I mean, I mean, we wouldn't be together. <laughs> what? But like, I mean, but. I know the scenario winds up with me getting broken up with and I didn't even get involved. So. <laughs> She's like, company goes down. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think like that's what the best part about like, you know, I think what the, at least like with all four of us. And then something to continuously like I I always appreciate and something I always keep in the back of my head is the fact that like we went through Bascom. Like we went through Bascom and we went we went from Bascom we went to Morgan Hill and I would say Morgan Hill was hard just because we feel like I got like like at least personally for me like I felt like we got to a specific place in a really nice area and we made it through the shit show that was Bascom and then all of a sudden 
you know, we ended up on the news, all this other stuff was going was on. Brand new it just building. Imploded, didn't it? Like blank slate. We thought that building was gonna be like, yes. I mean, we're there. those people. We were the first ones in there. Yep. Yeah. And then were all the landlords like, Yeah, you guys are good. Yeah. We got your back. I mean, like, that was like the I mean, so obviously we were all at the Baskin hearing when that when that happened. I mean, like that was I thought for sure, like at that point I was like, Okay, cool, like we have a chance. Did you guys have that at any point, like during oh, I, that? I felt, like it, I, felt like it, I felt like it was a horrible, stale environment where it was already decided. Those people, they knew we weren't. They didn't really get it. Uh-huh. And then the, the fact that we did, they didn't. They brought up the fact that we didn't mention that dogs weren't actually barking. That's the only thing they brought up. Like, what do you mean? Like, what about the other stuff that you said we were doing, like twenty-four hours a day? Oh yeah, but you said your dogs were barking. That's, that was the fucked up part, was it? Within four days, you're like, someone's barking. Dogs weren't and no even, one, no one was dogs there weren't even in there. We haven't yeah. even transferred. Getting complaints from opposite the road from, dog, from barking dogs 24 hours a day without dogs being in the vicinity. Yeah, that was that was a ridiculous part about it. I mean, I think the great, the, the good thing that came out of that, though, was that the team that was built after that is one of the best teams in Primal Canada ever had. So it's easy. Cheers, motherfucker. Oh, can you sit that on purpose? Man? Jeez. <laughs> and us. All right, let's talk about uh, Morgan Hill. So Morgan Hill, that was, in my opinion, one of the funnest times for the first, how long were we there? Four months. Four months? Until we got like 19 more and trains and it really kicked, into, kicked our asses. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, we do, like, then, you, then you started that fucking run walk challenge and I ended up doing yeah, we, we had so many dogs, it was like ridiculous miles a day. I was like, yeah, dude. We had a lot of bite work there, though. Like, we were able to get like, the decoy oh, yeah. bars and the trailer. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. and we were like in the middle of like, we had that cul de sac, so it's like, we, we there out. was no coming through traffic. We were like, nobody was there, no foot traffic. Like, it's not like, you know, here, like, we were able to like send dogs, like, yeah, you, know, like park, you know what I mean? Like, we just had so much more freedom to do stuff yeah. there because, like, we weren't. And they don't mean the Dutch Avenues. Right. 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 <laughs> the Dutchy litter team did work. Like yeah. maybe they wouldn't have been the dogs that they were without that environment because it was so versatile and so many different things. The upstairs, the stairs, the search, the yeah, we the 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 doors. Yeah, yeah, we did so many like things. Like a trailer too. Oh yeah, Beckins was right behind us. They let us use one of those trailers. Yeah, yeah it's long sends and it was recalls and underneath the trailers that we did with the legs. So yeah. And me Running Sending, scenarios. searching yeah. around in the dark, it's so much stuff. They got to grow up with like a kennel environment too, so they would be sensitized to other dogs. Uh, C Block? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big chest Gen Pop? C Block was uh, <laughs> the kennel room for some of the Dutchies. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them lived on that way. That's where Hilo They were our souls. <laughs> yeah, I'd come in and Hilo would go wall, wall, backflip. Yeah. Yeah. Corner, doo doo, backflip. Doo doo, backflip. I think my favorite part about, or my, well, I know my favorite part about that was like mm-hmm. us being able to work pretty much, you know, 16 hour days and then just barbecue. Barbecue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The but then the wind. Oh, yeah. That was the wind. The wind. The, wind the amount of times the fucking wind blew my fucking potatoes on the floor. <laughs> I was going to say that plate. You <laughs> set it down those, and like, you'd go to grab your drink and I went, <laughs> never bought decent plates. We always dealt with it. We always <laughs> had shitty We just bought more experience. expensive stuff. Shout out to Billy. Uh, Billy, if you're watching yeah. this, Billy the Chef. Uh, Billy, Billy the Chef. Cardi, Cardi, Doc, Billy. Yeah, yeah. Cardi, Billy. But I mean, that was, yeah, like, that was my favorite real. part. I think like that was the coolest thing. It's like being able to work the shifts that we were working, all the dogs that we were able to work, and then be able to just slam into my work until stupid o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then fucking start a barbecue at one in the morning or something. That was some probably shit. The, the difference between. Uh, Jesus, bask up. <laughs> don't drink. Um, was that it was more in an industrial area, so it wasn't. We didn't have to worry about neighbors. We could be out there at any time of night. We yeah, could no, Harry can. Potter it with legal fireworks. Um, oh, you can't just don't bring that up. <laughs> there's not. There's the video hasn't been out yet. There's not a video. Is there a video? Right? No, 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 that's not. That should not be public. <laughs> That's like, guys, what are you doing? Like, he, we, people give us their, people give us their dogs. It was yeah, so um, don't remember that part. All right, so, <laughs> edit, edit that out, out. We definitely do not fuck with fireworks. No, <laughs> only with each other, not with your dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they, 
they were in a building, not outside. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We were outside fucking around. They're out there in the see, see. Only me and Lee that were in danger. <laughs> I was so in danger. Lee's car was in danger. Oh, no. My face was in danger. I was, no, I was, not, I was thinking and about my, my vocal cords oh, were yeah. screaming so oh. high. Because I was like, Damn, Damn. my fucking <laughs> car! Like, stop! Like, you know, we have to I talk was just about trying to catch the holding a fucking Roman candle. The dog spins him around. It's going off, going for plumps, for plumps, for plumps. He aims it towards me and Eric. They're standing there. One comes like purpose. literally right by our face. Mike's just like, Whoa, with this, right? He looks so at us kidding. and he starts firing a few at my car. And I'm like, dude, my vocal, like my balls drop instantly. <laughs> like, I'm like, dude, my fucking car. Like, he's when I cared a little bit more about it. He was clean all the time. Before D- Lee went fucking completely dark person. Yeah, I still liked my clean car and I had time to do it. And I and Mercy wasn't in it as much, so I cared about it being clean. But I definitely care. I still would care. I definitely would care about you hitting it with the Roman candle still. I don't know if I would ever do that again. Yeah, you would. Come on. I don't know if it... I would ever would. I think if, I... if you would, it would be Aaron going, Mike, don't. And then you would say, what was that phrase again? Fuck, Fuck it, I'm doing it. Anyway. You see why? No, I think I think it's foolish, and I think you would never do that again. Yeah. You okay. do that right. You do that in ten minutes. <sighs> not. I mean, not in ten minutes. We're on the shots. show. <laughs> I've seen those candles somewhere. There we are. More enjoy show. somewhere. It's like Matt said, it's in my car. <laughs> you know, they <laughs> are. <laughs> all right, let's get the show rolling. Uh, the show rolling. This is fucking. Uh, all right, so we're talking about masks. So we went to the ranch. Ooh. So. The ranch was supposed to be one of, was supposed to be the spot, um, or the be all and end all at Disneyland, where we where we have loads of room for activities. But we well, we had everything. We had forty three acres. We had we literally flew Aaron's family in to build kennel rooms, build a whelping room, spiders. build all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good couple of jumpy spiders <laughs> and the cats that lived on the house. The fucking the snakes were the worst ones in the Ooh, beginning. My name is yeah, the ones. Yeah, We killed like four rattlers in like the first week. Mm-hmm. Remember the little babies? The we did rescue like nine cats though. So we yeah. did. Hey, we did. did our job. Cats, so, and snakes. So cats and snakes. We, <laughs> we were, we had. Uh, oh Jesus! <laughs> Hello. How is that? Hey, how is that preaching? The man? power of Christ compels. Dude, you. that guy's <laughs> angry. Right. I'm just gonna yell. I'm just gonna yell. Well, <laughs> Boha! <laughs> What's, What's that mean? Is this a Brazilian swear word? Yes. I don't know. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Portuguese. All right. Don't get, I know, don't get mad at me. All right. So, <laughs> just, yeah. Sorry. Right, we're back live here. Um, all right. So, um, after Boha. Uh, so, we ended up going to the ranch, and we, I remember that day being a pretty <sighs> strugglesome day. Which one? Uh, all of them. The, oh. the original build out, and then the original oh. time when we left from well, that was the change over had puppies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but before like the before he like, actually had puppies, oh, like that yeah. time of getting it all up there and getting it moved in. I mean, we got that shit built in what room. seven days. Six, yeah, just ten ten days. Days. I do think the dogs that we do that we worked on in the ranch time got the some of the best work that we've done. Like some of the dogs that we that we've rehabilitated from that stint in the ranch are still smashing. I think we definitely like with the the dogs from the ranch definitely got yeah. very good. I think they got some of the best work because we had continuous staff and we had rotation of staff. I think the situation we have now is like way better. But I mean, like that was still one of like our biggest. I feel like that was one of our biggest transitional periods as a company to for the better because it was like all right, cool. It's like you know I'm running all this other stuff, like doing the company stuff, and then you guys are up there doing your thing consistently. But I think that was like. For me, like that was like one of the like most realization points or pinnacle realization points for me, where I knew like also, damn, these these dogs need that decompression just like we do. Like they don't need to be in a, an industrial warehouse environment, in a kennel warehouse environment. You know, them being able to come out of a kennel and like all of a sudden walk out, like just check out the horses. Yeah, and just chill like on forty three acres and just like have fun. Yeah, like that was wild turkey and that little area we got by the back by the back door with that little bit of a ramp and then there was a seat like the little bench you could let the dog run away and it was that was like my favorite part was just popping the kennel I'm like all right let's go and we walked down that little hill into like that little grassy field that was one of the best hits from ozzy that was like a 300 yard oh, oh, oh gosh down the hell like, 
uh, on, were you on the truck? Or I was sitting you... on the chair. No, you're on the. No, I was no, sitting on the. Either. I was sitting on the chair because Matt asked me right after after I came up off the floor. Uh-huh. He's like, "So, um, you going through something? Is this because <laughs> we just spent too much money here, or <laughs> did like, you punish yourself? did you want to punish yourself? Because it was way the hell up there at the house. It was a big ramp that came all the way down to the field, and Mike's just sitting on a chair. Just go send Ozzy. Go ahead. And I'm on top of a truck, and I'm just sit here coughing my fucking throat out da, da, da. as soon as he hits i just i think i dropped the camera i just started laughing because it's there's a the video that's, when, that's when you're on top of the truck <laughs> on that, yeah, on that truck, truck and you came up and just like yeah yeah you just hear like the wind get knocked out of mic and Matt just starts laughing so i just starts coughing yeah that's what it was yeah the ran- i think the ranch was fun i mean unfortunately yeah. the, the whole thing didn't work out but hey but thank goodness that we left when we did because if we had to try and stick out that winter with that water and that mud Oof. they got evacuated too for the place yeah my god my, 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 my del sol yeah. got stuck up there for like yeah months. movies sucked out of there because yeah. you couldn't get it once that rain came once the mud was yeah even michelle's big ass giant truck almost got stuck up yeah. there yeah but like just suburban did and yeah. then it was uh, yeah. 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 And it was yeah. just yeah. it was just getting sketchy much just to me and we were some fun in it yeah, like, but, oh, you're just about out of it. And then we're back. Yes. No. So, now, in my opinion, we are in the best possible spot Primal Canyon has ever been in uh, with the best possible crew. And it's easy. Cheers, motherfuckers. Uh, and I think it's been easy in that sense because you are. I don't think it's been easy. I mean, our our road, our road to here has been hard. Um, oh, there we go. Um, but I mean, our road to here has definitely been a hard one, and I just a question that we're going to answer uh, in the questions that we have here that I said, Terry. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think like the the journey itself in which we've had this guy's going off behind me. Uh, the journey itself in which we've had it. it I think it's definitely toughened but also created you know what it's created and then now we are in my opinion you know at one of the highest points we've ever been in in primal canon history um oh i don't know if you hear i've never heard in this lab before i think they're actually no, the because someone was like yes 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 oh she's been thinking yeah. about he's he's for free do you guys hear this stuff oh, I hope the mic can pick some of that shit up. Oh, might be getting, great. might be getting blessed right now. There's some uh, bass in there as well. He's got, he's got mood music. That's why I'm like, you know, like exorcism, like War of the Worlds. If you guys shit. don't know, um, although I'm just saying, like, this is the best facility we've had. We are, we're right, <laughs> <laughs> we're right we're next, next to the Universal Church, and um, he's a Portuguese pastor. Uh, I, I'm just saying that because that's why you hear the like, language you speak. I don't know the fuck you're talking about. But, uh, you speaking in tongues, you don't know that. All right, so apparently the fucking the devil Christ is, Christ 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 is cutting us off with the Wi-Fi. Um, I don't know where everyone left off here, so this is going to be a fun one. We're going to have to redo. Um, but I think, like, well, I guess what I was saying was, like, the, the journey here, I think, has meant the best team. Although I don't get to see you assholes every single day and do the stuff that we, you know, used to do. Uh, it still doesn't mean anything for me. Like, you know, we are continue grinding, continue working, so continue doing what we're doing. So, cheers. Oh, All right. 
Which was a big deal. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm sorry, guys, but we'll continue coming in, coming off, being a bunch of, uh, that's what she said. Um, and also, yeah. We'll keep doing this. <laughs> All right. We got questions. We got Q's. You got Q's. You, you, we got A's. Are you picking them or are you just like going to fire them off here? It's a screenshot on top of them. Is it too old to start obtaining protection, uh, one year old for protection training? <clears throat> Is it too old? Yeah. No. 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 I don't see why not. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say, we're not going to rifle through I don't know. That's why I asked. I was like, are we going to rifle through him? And no one answered me. And I was like, nope. So we're going to like just pick a couple of good so ones. So the reason why it is, <laughs> is not too old is because at one year old, your dog is still very young. If you're with a good trainer, they're going to work with you, they're going to get you through everything, and they're going to help you out. So, yeah. It's just a nice answer. I know oh, if they're asking people. that question, let's be fair. I know how to talk to people. No, I'm, not just, <laughs> like, I'm not denying that. But like. My dog goes from 0 to 100 the minute he seems. Seems, so it's not seems. I said, I'm sure it's there's seems. See, so, you, know, you can be pedantic about that, but then go really nice. Sees another dog. Sees another dog. I'm pretty sure it says seems. Oh. And I think that zero to hundred really good. Can I do fast cat with oh, it? What? It's zero to hundred. Fast. Uh, go so ahead. He, so he goes zero to hundred when he sees another animal. Yes, Is that what I heard? Another dog. Another dog. Um, so for me, <laughs> I mean, it's hard to know without knowing the dog. So I'd be like, well, correct it. But then at the same time, I'm like, I want to be able to teach that dog that I'm more important than that other dog. Um, so it really depends on what stage you're at with that dog and not knowing it. You want to build it up first before you correct it. I'm not going to correct the behavior if the dog doesn't understand, so it depends. Become bigger, become more important to the dog. I think we all have the same answer on that one. See a trainer, for sure. Find some breaks. <laughs> and see a trainer. <laughs> I have no other answer to that one. Let's see. If you trade... All right, here we go. So if you train five days a week, how long does it take to be ready for a BH testing? So you both are certified PSA decoys. You guys both have seen, you know, multiple dogs go on the field. I started in shifts and, and for the, you know, for the most part, I feel like a lot of it, like a lot of it is overthought and especially within the training, but you guys have seen it more recently in the trial field. So people who train a lot and you see this on PSA, like at least I've seen a lot on PSA, people you know, train quite a bit. If you train five days a week, should that be enough for a BH? My answer is going to be, I don't know the dog, I don't know the training, and it's it should be different. But if you're training five but, days a week and that's your goal, then fuck, it should be. But if you need to train five days a week to get to it, maybe not something dog to do with. But then, you know, reminds me of like people who are like, oh, I've been training for 20 years. We're like, yeah, we did 20 years of shit training, like transfer biting and stuff like that. Like, doesn't mean anything. But <laughs> way, way to just to like plop that in there. <laughs> well, I'm saying it's like, you can't say that I'm this fucking awesome trainer and I teach transfer biting. Like, it doesn't work like that. Okay. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Fact, so I can't tell you like, you know, you putting in five days a week is, yeah, that's enough. Because if it's five days of shit, then it, no, it's not. They could, really, could not be working for the, that style of sport, not doing the right scenario. Yeah. It could be so, the different biomechanics. Who the fuck knows? Like, there's so many variants to that question. But uh, I mean, yeah, put it in. You're training, you want to do PSA? No, it's not going to be enough. So. I would definitely say if you're training for a BH and it's five days a week and you're specifically training for a BH, you should be fine. That's. Sparkle Storm. No, no, no. Uh, I think one of the Grunties. Bo, Bo Roxy. Oh. 
That, like you don't answer like nice because you know a lot of your Q and A's are like. I always have to nice. Like, give us the give us some grimy ones of like. Because I, I I need to stay always nice with people because if I don't. You need to stay what? Always it's, someone it's nice. <laughs> all right, how Aaron? Here's for you. How does Aaron deal with the uh, all of us on a daily basis? He needs to raise. I have no fucking clue. Um. It's true than that. <laughs> it's not, it's not that bad. That's a fucking That's lie. It's just keeping track of like a lot of stuff. It's just like a lot to keep track of, so I guess. You deal with me, Matt and Lee. I'm a toddler. I mean, we're like, like, we're like, like we'll be a little bit. We're not no, bad, I'm, I'm but we have to get put in a place a couple of times when we forget random shit. We are like, giant babies. I mean, there was definitely did you contact point. this person? Did you collect payment? Did you sign the contract? Did you do this? I'm like, I'm like, fuck, I, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> like, did you text that person that I said yeah. you need to contact for? <laughs> fuck! Yes, exactly. I did. Like, you send me the contract because, hey, can you fucking text this person? And like, uh, they want it, they want it. Oh, I'll schedule you. I'll text them you. right now. Did you text that lady from earlier? No, I didn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then she'll come back in and be like, the next morning, hey, just checking. Can you read that? I'm like, no, I'm no, doing it right now. I'm so sorry. It's my got, bad. I booked your client for you. This. I'm like, <laughs> it's 11 o'clock tomorrow. I'm like, yeah. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I'm a giant cool. Like, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm a good baby. It's funny thing. It's like, oh, you didn't schedule it. It's 8, it's 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Yeah. 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 I stuck. My bad. I stuck. <laughs> like, I, I can't even eat right, let alone manage my own schedule. So, yeah. Yeah, badly broken. So, Aaron. <laughs> How do you manage? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hard. It's, it's easy. easy. It's easy. I've got a lot of practice with it's my easy. skill managing two more people. It's not good. We're not that bad. Yeah. No, you guys aren't bad. I said it's just like... It's so basically, I'm not the bad. It's constantly no, like, it's even, the last of it. It's, <laughs> it's not even that like... It's that you guys are that bad. It's just so much stuff to remember. We have so many clients. We have so many of our own personal dogs. We have so many new people signing up on a daily mm -hmm. basis. I manage all this stuff for our personal lives, like, you know. Brandon over here making mistakes every day. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> my card. I need to get the coffee right, this guy. We're <laughs> We've never had a coffee guy. No. No, yeah, no, we haven't. No, a coffee? We should get one of those, though. Ooh. Can it be a coffee girl? Sure. Wait. No. Ooh, damn it. Oh, damn it. That's done. Yeah, that's done. Who the hell said that? Babe, I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> 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 like, the second one was like, it's the boost. Yeah, it's the boost. Right. Can we get uh, a refill, Brandon? Sorry. No. 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 All right, guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I told I told you guys this was going to be a very interesting Master. show. Well, do we have a time? Do we have a time slot limit? Uh, we have about our no. We usually go about an hour, two hours. That's what she said. So we're going to go. For Okay. Oh yeah, this is gonna be. This is we're in for the long haul. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, so let's write up another one. What's your next question? I got. I'm trying to make sure you don't do stupid ones. Oh, so <laughs> God, I made them. Because that's going to make you, you're just going to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm still going to like that. What is your process for uh, for working with owners? What do you focus on? Make sure they, then that's part one. Part two is follow through to keep up with their dogs during uh, for board and trains, private set lessons, and uh, client classes. Uh, Part three is many people. Basically, what's the fucking process of our board and trains? So how do we keep in, in contact with them and make sure that they keep on doing what they're doing? I think is what they're saying. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can speak to my own for sure. I, I mean, I'm trying to be in constant contact with anybody after they after they go. And so my outros are usually about an hour to two hours. Um, I want to know when you got home, how did it go, what happened, what's the plan for the next morning. We've already written it on the homework, but I want to hear you go ahead and tell me what we're going to do. And then... Any time that something's happening, I want to know right that second because I, I need to be able to manage it, help you out, fix it, see if something's going on, and then I'm going to see you about every week, once a week. Good. So the one thing I'll say before everyone else answers again um, is that our board and train is lifetime guaranteed, so we're highly invested. 
in our dogs and the dogs that we come in or the people that come in we're highly invested so we're always on them uh, we're making sure that they're consistently staying with their homework we're doing our best as painstaking as that can be from time to time so as like matt said like you know he's been training to do that I'm sure lee will um you know sign off on that as well as that we're always consistently on because we're looking for the benefit of the dog um but yeah i mean you know, we come with more transition lessons and then uh, you have lifetime trainer assistance. Uh, so and of unlimited, unlimited there, groups. And limited group training. Which I think is quite fun because the Q&A at the end of every group class, anything they need to work on, if any questions and answers, that's, and that's about super valuable. Yeah, and that is forever, or at least for the life of the dog. Alrighty. I don't know any trainer or trainers in Stockton. Do you guys? Stockton. He is brothers. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> Stockton Stock trainers. Great. Right. Oh, how far is away that next gen place? That's not far away from Stockton, right? Um, is that the way? That way? Next gen's like Blair. Is it Blair? Yeah, yeah I, think, I mean, next gen, if they're out there, I mean, I, don't, I have no clue. Um, let's see. All right, here's a good one. What is the first most challenging milestone Primal Canine uh, mm -hmm. to get through? This should be individual. What's the first one? Challenging first milestone. First most challenging milestone for Primal to Canada get through. I mean, you would know that. I don't know. That's not that's not our question. That's your question, right? Yeah. I would think that's an individual. Well, I guess it's like personally for each of us. Like, with like Primal, what was like your biggest? Oh, was most challenging yeah. for me? Hmm. That's a pretty good question. Um. Hmm. Most challenging. I can't really like. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's been fucking challenging as fuck. Yeah, but like, it's all like pretty. I mean, I mean, it's work, but it's all vol like volunteer based, I guess. Like, we don't want to be here. This yeah. is like. It's not being hey, forced. I got on to wake up and be like, "Fuck! I gotta come to work today." Or like, "Ugh! I don't want to go over there. They want me to do bite work later. I don't know. There's nothing that's like challenging to where I'm like, I can't." This is too difficult, this is too hard. I mean, there's workouts and stuff that we would do that would run into the fucking, in the hot ass sun or in the late ass night, just getting fucking worked all night to make sure that we really want to be there. But never at any point was it like, man, I don't know if I want to be here. It's like, fuck, I hope I don't fall while I'm trying to run. Like, no. I think the times maybe I went through a little bit of a personal strike, not knowing pretty much where I was kind of sleeping at the time. And that was the money I was either doing it or not. I think, you know, for, that's a big I think for me, like it was like transitioning from like Bascom to like Morgan Hill. Like Bascom was heartbreaking. Like, and that's obviously like in the process that like I started being more involved too. So it was like just hard to like, you know, come here and like see like all the stuff that was happening and then like and just realize like, oh, like this, you know, like just like you said, it was already signed for us. Like we went in there and like, you know, we fought and we said what we wanted to say. Like, yeah. And it was right. just like heartbreaking watching somebody just like, yeah, here's this thing that you guys like love and that you work so hard for and like that's very clear that you care about, but we're just going to take it away anyway. And then coming out to Morgan Hill and then watching, so people don't know like what happened to Morgan Hill is that our zoning code changed. So it wasn't that we got in like a legal battle. Changed because of us. Well, but yeah, I mean, whatever it was, but say it wasn't like we had like a legal battle because of somebody or like whatever it was, like it had been proposed months before, <coughs> according to like city paperwork or whatever, and our landlords just failed to notify us. And also the city didn't really like, they didn't care enough to like work with us or anything. So it was just hard going from place to place and like putting, you know, everything we have into something and watching it be so easy for other people to like take away. Like that's always been like really hard. So it's like, we care so much what we do, like, you know, like we've all lost things being invested in Primal Canyon, we've all gained a lot of things, but like it means so much to all of us. So for other people to come around and just be like, yeah, like, you know, because it, like we're just going to take this from you. Or, like something doesn't work, like get out. It's like, it's not that easy. This is our life. Like there's animals involved. Like there's, you know, yeah, my like life. there's my yeah. whole life. Was it around, like, yeah. Everything. Like there's, there's just like things that like, you know, a lot of us gave up a lot of stuff to be here. So to watch people take it away, I think that's been like the hardest thing to like see. How much like other people above us like don't care like when it comes down to it or like realize that you know we are trying to help them not bad yeah, yeah. yeah you're on your own yeah we painted a building black in campbell but like are we like you know are we bad people like no, no like a black building with red, yeah. with red lettering so i think that was like probably the hardest 
you know, like thing is just watch of people like find it so easy to like take shit from us, you know. But I mean, I think he brought out like, like the true colors and a lot of of our you know people, I guess, yeah. people that were with us were with us. Yeah. Yeah, those people that stuck out. Those people yeah, that the people that did it for the right reasons. Like, yeah, you, you were here, but you were here, and it brought out the, the yeah. same thing. Yeah, I think like the, I mean, the hardest or the most challenging um, milestone was it was Baskin for me because that's when we lost it, and that's when I got cancer. And I remember just sitting there like on like that little fucking tiny little the green couch. No, the, the little bed in the in the corner oh, room, yeah. like where they're out. Like I was just literally remember just like sitting there. ICU unit room. Yeah, I was just like it was like just thinking, I was like it was like I would literally just like sick as fuck, just thinking like he was like I don't know how I am gonna get out of this, and like everybody's like nope, not going. And then you know we have we lose all of the like the elder staff, and like after after that meeting in like the room where I told everybody in the living room, I was like, dude, I, like, I don't know what we're going to do anymore. Like, I just, you know, they're they're cutting me off. It's like everything at this point, like, I'm going to be in trouble. And like, you know, wow, that that was for me, the one of the, and then, you know, obviously not having like Ivy, like that was for me, like the hardest part. And like, but it's because they, you know, obviously I, was, I left, I was supposed to die. And then we supposed to lose our business and we did, <laughs> we did it. So for me, milestone wise, and being able to overcome that, that was that's one of the bigger ones that like I that's one of the ones I have on to. I'm just like, dude, like this is the rough experience. Yeah, like, I mean, like just just be able to overcome yeah. that, you know, like just to not go down, you know. And we did it. We got better. So like that for me is the biggest milestone uh, in primal canine for me. I mean, like obviously, like that mass was hard, you know. You know, going from the ranch to here, and like all sort of stuff was hard, but like that for me was one of the ones where I was just like, it was like, man, it was a little bit darker. It was just like, it was just life and death. And yeah, it's just, just a little bit darker than just maybe the roof disappearing. It was like, like you say, a little bit more life and death. Yeah, it got a little bit more serious. It was just like more emotions. There was more emotions involved. In and that was like the hard one, especially like you know, with everyone had been you know, not ghosting. ghosting and everything like that, but. It was just that was the hard that was the harder one for a uh, harder one for me and like that was the biggest milestone I would say when it comes to primal canine and and me in the personal life that would be the, the <laughs> biggest one to be like all right we fucking we gone through it we gone through it <laughs> there, ain't, there ain't much more shit to go through but that's that yeah I mean when you thought that we're like yeah it can't get any worse. Like we got this brand new spot. Yeah, it's got a mask. Oh, look, hey, it's nice clean. Out. First people in. Oh, yeah, fuck you too. Right. <laughs> but, like, that's essential. So, if you don't know, uh, oh, well, obviously, most of you guys are probably talking, listening to me talk throughout the internet and all this other stuff. Uh, I just, I'm old, that's how you know it is. Like, what they call it, the internet. Um, I really just don't give a fuck, and we just keep going forward. So, that's usually how it goes, even though all the craziness is there. But that was from Bailey and Bassett. So there's your answer. Probably a silly question, but is it possible to train obedience slash recall to a five year old chest panel? Five year old what? Chest panel. Chest of Yeah. Yeah. How old is it? Five. <laughs> is it possible to train a dog a recall at five years old? That's the question. 100%. Pretty much. Gonna go with yes. I think we've definitely done it before. It's possible. Is it likely? There's probably some techniques involved. <laughs> it's doable for sure. Hot dogs. Right. <laughs> um yes. It is possible to train your dog at any point in time in your age. It depends on the amount of effort you put forward. What's the oldest dog you've trained, Mike? 16? Yeah, maybe 19. I think it was a 17. I think it was 17. Mason, Mason 17. No, I trained a 17-year-old uh, leukemia whippet. No, it was 16. Well, a leukemia whippet when I, mean, I first I started. Had to have the leukemia into it. Like. Yeah, he was sick as fuck. <laughs> but he was aggressive. He lived on the equestrian center. Oh, yeah. He lived on the equestrian center. 
So like, that was the oldest story. <laughs> oldest dog, Nan Krieger. If you're watching, thank you. She's a gangster. She has a bunch of. Uh, so like in, 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 uh, no, Nan said uh, in Brantwood. Oh. No, the. Who's the OG lady you speak about in Memphis? Lori. Miss Lori. Yeah. Miss Lori, if you're watching this. Hi. Miss <laughs> Lori is a gangster. Nice. She has the big ass property with fucking, I don't know how many dogs she has now. But, nice. but we we use her uh, facility all the time, and I'll, I will be there with um, uh, Charlie, Randolph. Charlie Randolph and Jacques uh, in September. I don't know the date. Charlie Randolph. Next week. Right, yeah. September already. Yeah, let's go to your questions. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sorry. I forgot I was using Aaron's phone because my phone is being utilized at the moment. Also, shout out to Jake Faith, Jake Foss for this t shirt. Is it Faith or Foss? It's, it's Faith. He is Mag that say Foss. I think it looks like Foss. It does. And he's in the bite stuff, so. That's why he never cracks this. That's why he never oh. cracks on it. <laughs> just telling this. Um, who does Aldi love to bite the most? Mm. I would say, honestly, I think, I mean, I think it's probably gotta be Brandon or Henry right now, because I think he can smell the fucking fear on people. I don't know if you're gonna it's it probably is Brandon. It probably is. It probably is Brandon. It's actually like a laughing. video, of, like, where, um, I have posted one of them, but there's a video where we send him into the van, and, like, and he gets Brandon just, like, right perfectly on the wrist. Mm. Must have just been how you presented it. And then we tried again, he got you on the elbow, but, like, there was one time where, like, in between one of those sends, um, Danette was like laughing and I just couldn't stop laughing and she was just like, and I was like, dude, like, it's like you can fucking just smell the fear on people. Like, I don't know if it's like the pheromones or what, but like, you, but it's, I think it's like just the way like Brandon screams right now. That's the same reason why Matt first started. He just <laughs> fucking loves Matt because things. Matt would just scream so fucking loud. And it was also that he got so much satisfaction out of it. So, um, he, he loves Mike. So it's like, he bites Mike because he knows he's supposed to, he, he, he like gets frustrated like with you, but like, um, then I think it would definitely be probably next to said Matt because of the screaming. Like, I mean, probably bite me for the same reason too, but I think right now it's just the people that give him like the most, like the biggest like reaction <laughs> are the people he likes. And currently that's Brandon. Brandon screams the most. <laughs> Brandon screams a lot when he gets it. So but it's like true. It's like true screaming, not like, no. it's it's not like not real not fake. Not yeah, not fake. Not well, no, but I mean, like, but Brandon's usually he's sad. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, he's in an alleyway and no one's coming to help him. <laughs> so we're all used to um, him destroying our lives. Yeah. So any new booty uh, gets the favoritism when it comes to Ozzy. Right. <laughs> because Ozzy is an asshole. Because anybody new gets to realize that Ozzy does not fuck around. <laughs> I also want to say that the Primal Canine Armor from Ray Allen, uh, yeah, that's a plug, motherfuckers. Um, wow. was, How'd you get him? Was built because of Ozzy. That was that. To try and minimize the damage. Alright, so this is one for each of us. Most memorable, memorable moments in your careers. Ooh. So, uh, Lee, your most memorable. Past for a second. Mike, your most memorable. Dog training. Oh. Uh, how's it going to Matt? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about it's the most memorable. I don't know if it's the most memorable, but the first one that came to mind was when we took the uh, Aussie 6 Mark 1 Mark 2 Mark 3 Mark 4 Mark 5 Mark 6 Mark 7 Mark 8 Mark 9 Mark 10 Mark 11 Mark 12 Mark 13 Mark 14 Mark 15 Mark 16 Mark 17 Mark 18 Mark 19 Mark 20 Mark 21 Mark 22 Mark 23 Mark 24 Mark 25 Mark 26 Mark 27 Mark 28 Mark 29 Mark 30 Mark 31 Mark 32 Mark 33 Mark 34 Mark 35 Mark 36 Mark 37 Mark 38 Mark 39 Mark 40 Mark 41 Mark and we are like, yeah, good one. Yeah. I gotta figure out if we can upload that at some point. That video. Oh, that's but a good one. In short, we had the puppies, we were having a lot of fun, we were walking around down We had a couple of shandies. And then there was a really thick wall, and we were <laughs> like, hey, the dogs are really <laughs> good. <laughs> the dogs have been really good at like going up stuff and walking around. Like, we're like, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. And then like, Billy we're like, we bet, yeah, we're sort of like, well, it's pretty high for them, so we'll put Billy up there and he'll agitate with his hat or whatever, and we'll, it'll be good. And uh, we, 
two people are holding what was it Ozzy and Lucy. Ozzy and Lucy. And they go like this and to guide the dogs up. What, um, what were you holding, Ozzy? I was holding no, Lucy. You were holding Lucy. Lucy, Lucy goes right up. Lucy goes right up. I don't know how much stay on camera. So he guides Lucy up the wall, and as he does it, Aaron guides Ozzy right into his ass. <laughs> Bites him in the ass. Ah! <laughs> and then we're like trying to figure out, like, oh shit, here, help out Mike. Well, Lucy was up the wall, <laughs> just attacking <laughs> Billy, and Billy's spinning. going with his hat, going, ah, 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 ah. And they're like, oh, Billy, ah, he's trampling all over the fucking plants in front of the, this The building. brand new flowers, in and the, they're in, yet to re, they're yet to open brand new restaurant. They're not even open, they're in there training or like teaching people stuff, and they like <laughs> walk outside, open. and they're like, uh, what's you, going on? Yeah, well, guys, no, 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 it's all right. It's normal. Yeah. We do this shit all the time. Sorry, guys. See ya. And just like, we left, but... Ooh, that was the fucking solid one because you can you can watch the video and break down exactly what happens, <laughs> who does what. I will say this. Slow mo, the... the Ah, right, and then we, we, we definitely did not get a table at Willard Hicks for a solid two months after oh, that. I didn't like yeah. this. <laughs> that was longer than two months. It's the nicest restaurant in town, like, like, oh, uh, like, sorry, now it's nice. Sorry. They don't like us. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one of my most memorable, for sure. Oh, I mean, you probably gonna have to put, like, the Dutch, the, the devil stick litter puppies chasing me. Oh, the yeah, video, the, the video. The video's on my Instagram. But that, like, you could put, like, that, like, experience, it. like, in so many places where they fucked up so many pounds of pounds. <laughs> like... Mm. Liz lost a lot of pairs of pants. Like fancy, that's where the fancy, fancy pants come from. Pants, like he has sweatpants from all over. Well, he the lost six hundred dollars. I have so like, many, yeah. like so many pairs that the Dutch litter fucked up. And then that one time when I got a nice pair on, I'm like, ah, no Dutch litter around, and I turned around and they rip tore off, it on I rip, ripped it on to, like Billy's trailer. Oh, that one, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. There's no dogs around, and I turned around and go, ha ha! And I've turned around and gone, Ozzy was trying to open the frames and stuff first, and I thought he had, like, something had happened, but, like, he was, like, a little, he wasn't being a little fuck back then. But, like, I was like, oh, first time. Yeah, the first time. Oh, like fucking eight weeks. Oh, he didn't tear your pants, it was a solid clean bite, yeah. though. No ribbing. Biggest bruising ever. What are you doing? Spider. Spider. Yeah, that was a trance of it. What's that? That wasn't a trance of it. Gang, gang. Most memorable primal kind of moment. Your most memorable moment. There's so many, though. There's just so many random ones. Most memorable moment. You go. You go. I'm still thinking. You go first. Yeah. You go first. I don't like going first. I don't like what? <laughs> so, I would say my. <laughs> oh no! Let's see, I would Guys. say. He's watching. Can you say hello, I would say the moment of like the. It's not like the most like biggest thing we've ever done. Like cause we've done so much. Um, like just through rescue, through everything like that. But I would, all right, perfect. I would just say the the day that we got a message from Matt Wilson from Ray Allen, like that's one of my most memorable. Like I remember doing that because we just went through like all the shit at Baskin. We just got some masks, and then I remember just like looking at like my DMs and like all of a sudden I was like, dude, it's all right. I was like, fucking like whatever like just trying to do the work and then i see that message and i'm like they're like hey we want to work with you and i was just like fucking ray Allen wants to work with us like, 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 and then that was like i would say that's one of the most man there's many memorable moments but like i feel like the turn of, of like when we started doing all like the you know, you know the huge stuff that's happening now in primal and I, like, they, like everything that we've done, like everything that we're doing now, like, like that was like one of the more pinnacle turns. And like for me, like that was like, all right, cool. It only took me close to twenty years, but at least we got that. You know, like that was like there. And then after that, I mean, hell, I mean, fuck, I mean, I don't know. And there's so many things that we do, like. Just on the normal, yeah, just on the normal daily basis that we do. It's like, it's always like memorable stuff. I mean, I mean, like, there's all stuff. Like, yeah, I have to think about a memorable moment, so I can't think of how many. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, which one is it? And all four of us were on Drinks and Dogs, and then the church was singing. Memorable moment. <laughs> Screenshot, everybody. 
Oh. He wants to bypass my turn into the question. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first to be asked, though. It's true. Um, well, I think it's, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to, like, I feel like it's kind of like a cluster of things. I mean, getting to handle, like, so many dogs, I guess, like, for me, like, you know, I got to first start off by handling, like, Salto, and then I got to handle Malice and Cerberus. Kenzo. And then, yeah, Kenzo, and then, um, I don't think that I ever handled Six, though. Um, but like just through getting to be a grad, just getting to be a part of so many of like the dogs like growing up, like you know, knowing like a lot of the core dogs from like Primal Canyon, like you know, like getting to work with Mouse before it was fucking cool. Um, you know, it's like everybody has one now, and it's just like the you know, that we've been doing stuff for like so long, and it just it wasn't like trendy or whatever. But I think just getting to handle like all the different dogs has been like crazy. Like getting to handle a dog like Ozzy is crazy. Um, I feel like that's like um, some of that doesn't seem like that weird or like that like important but then I watch like other people be way shittier at handling a lower caliber of dog and I'm just like oh this is like a really crazy thing to be doing and it's so normal to us to like grab a dog and like send yeah. them into like a fucking car yeah, and, like, to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, like strap a muzzle on my dog and watch it put Mike through a fucking window over there like this. it's just yeah. it's a crazy yeah, like I'm over the fuck out of here. Matt's on his second one, what do you I'm gonna enjoy it, man. Like, I'll be fucking pissed. <laughs> Alright. Um, what collars and harnesses do you recommend? Ray Allen. Icon Air. Icon Nomad. And then for the collar, what is it? A ram, the RAM collar, the double layer. Oh, the double layer is the The shit. double layer RAM one with the D ring, that's a quality collar. I use the elusive. Oh yeah, has the, the, yeah. Oh, the, the, the elusive is a good one. Which is the one that uh, Reggie's uh, and you and her just brought or Reggie brought that's out. The, that's the double, double, double layer, double layer, but it had the ring on the back oh, end. Oh yeah, had the D ring on it too. Yeah, yeah. that shit was yeah. nice. Yeah. 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 I just yeah. cut my mess. He got. I cut yeah. out. I think I shook mine in my trunk somehow. And he like slid it a little bit, but mm -hmm. it's mostly forever color. And from this year, that at mass, and it's still. Yeah. So you guys the custom harness. Yeah, the custom, custom ones. Yeah. The, the, the fact they do custom options, and you can really hammer in some custom options if you really wanted to. Yeah, check out Raylon. Yeah. Raylon.com. Do you have a most valuable lesson you've learned from or by working dogs? Most valuable. Stay aware. Stay aware. Right. Stay aware. <laughs> like that's, you should have written that fucker down. Oh, you know, the fucking amount of times that we had to stay aware when there was fucking cheese doing this shit. Or a leash hitting you in the mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like and it's oh, slapped in the pack nice. leash as the dog goes like this. Yeah. <laughs> or so, for me, it was on stands with Malice. They Malice learned this by me slapping them in the ass. Like when they yeah, weren't paying attention. So yeah. just so you know. Also stay aware. Stay aware started with that. And so then, Mike likes to mask the fact that he likes to do that by sneaking up on Matt and Lee, and now Brandon because he's become a popular. <laughs> so we get we get slapped on the ass quite a bit. I know. I don't. I would. Like, but not slapped. I wouldn't like, categorize it being slapped on the ass at all. It's more like a it's like, like a dog? kick with your fist. Yeah. That donkey punch. Like, yeah, like somebody kick you in your ass with your fist. That doesn't actually <laughs> pass the he, wants, there. he wants your butt cheeks to go like, over here to invert <laughs> and come back. And sometimes you can get to the ring you stand back. Come back. <laughs> and there's like, if you've been in our shop, there's like a marble countertop. And it's like this high. If you're like this, that's nice and sharp. right? It's got a nice little rough edge to it, right? It's like authentic and it's rustic, great. you know, whatever you want to call it, whatever, right? So it's here. Imagine you getting slapped in the ass really hard by a 200 plus pound dude, and your ass hits the fucking thing. This. <laughs> <laughs> but you notice how they said stay away very fast. Because we can't basically. <laughs> if Mike walks past us, we're pretty much putting our backs to the wall every time. So if you're doing something like this, and Mike walks past you, like. Yeah, so One if you're ever, if you're around... favorite activities is to just walk past me fast or like open a door near me or anything. One of us goes, what the fuck was that? I like, I you just hear you just go, stay aware. So if you're around and see Matt and Lee just very quickly like put their foot up against the nearest wall or something. You just turn around randomly like, like squirrel. Not a prison thing. <laughs> that was a prison mic thing. Not the mic. So that's the, so the most valuable thing you guys have learned. Stay aware. Stay aware. Stay aware. Mike, see? the most valuable thing that you've learned? Fuck. From dogs, you buy. 
trained on. Punish the people below you. Lots of hazing. Hazing work. I wouldn't say I would. I would have to do something with that. I think it's not about the dogs; it's about the people. And like what I do, like especially like with like my like apprentices, like all, all these guys have been apprentices at one point in time. Um, I feel like the ability to create like life and just like a better life for certain, like for just certain people, and just give something to certain things. Like that for me, like just through the like the life I've went through and the life that I've gone through, and now where I'm at, where I am at in general because if, like I started out just as nothing and I still view myself in that sense but I continuously like continuously push forward so like for me to be able to continuously push you know my guys you know my team you know my you know, fiance um the same thing like <laughs> and that doesn't give me some shit um continuously, <laughs> uh, continuously do this like it's just like for me like i think like that's like the most important thing that like i've learned um and just like that's like the most valuable thing like i think in general i mean i don't i don't do that stuff for me like i do that stuff just so i can make sure that like everyone else is good in general so like when i walk around and slap these guys ass and <laughs> we know he comes from a good place basically what he's uh, saying. like i just it's just a basic even though it really build. fucking hurts sometimes way past the point of going <laughs> dude like seriously, man. There's times where I tell those. Like, <laughs> yeah. This one's my favorite. Like, so you can show him with the handprint. Like, you can do that. That wasn't my ass. Yeah, like it's on my back. Yeah, and, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, 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 There's one time where I picked Lee up because I hit him in the tailbone like, in the green suit. <laughs> <too. laughs> and I was just like, oh, just like, like sometimes where it's like, not even that funny. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you got me. Stay aware, but dude, that we fucking know. So, I would say the biggest, uh, you know, whatever the whatever the fucking point of the question was, you know, the one of the greatest things I've ever been able to do, especially being in the place that I am, I am, because I am no greater than anybody else in this room. Um, the biggest thing for me is being able to teach the lessons that I've learned throughout my life and just help people in general. And that's exactly what I want to do. Exactly what I'm continuously trying to do, just through whatever I've learned. So, whatever the answer to that question was, that was it. The question, yeah, I covered it. Most valuable, like, like, most valuable lesson you've learned uh, by working with or from those. And I think it's that like we're, we're really fucking lucky to do this. Like, like just like Matt, like you said, really feel like a desk job. It's like you know, it, like we make our own schedules. Like we can walk, you know, we can go outside and do whatever we want. Like we have to be with our own dogs every day. Like I know that like I mean, Ozzy wouldn't be the dog he is today. Like if we didn't do this for a living, like I get to you know, at any given moment, we can you know, in between lessons, like work one of our dogs. We can you know, work with the board and train dog, like, I mean, like, the freedom that we have to, like, do what we do and, like, work with animals and, like, just, you know, basically wear whatever the fuck we want to work, like, we don't have to look at specifically, like, Matt can get a fucking face tattoo and he can still work here. He can get a Mike Tyson face tattoo and, like, and Matt was Mike still does have a face tattoo. But I said, I said Matt could get, like, a Mike Tyson face tattoo. Oh, like, what? Yeah, yeah, like, we can, I mean, like, you can, you can, like, look I'll however. Do <laughs> Yeah. I think we need to send yeah. another one of these motherfuckers. Let's go. Oh, God. Everybody send yeah. in your request of what you think Matt should get tattooed in this case. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's just crazy that it's like what we get to do. You know, it's like we spent whole days before, like, you know, getting bitten by dogs, like working dogs. Like, it's like this is like our, like, it's crazy that this it's is the like preferred our day. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's really the preferred day. Wake up, work dogs. Yeah. Every day. Right. So this is what I have to think about. So one of their questions is, what are your favorite dog names? Obviously, you guys have already... Dog names? Name. Dog names. I've already named most of your dogs. So <laughs> like, if you guys could have picked your own names for your dogs, or you guys have favorite dog Ooh, names? Favorite dog names. Um, does this extend to, like, client dogs? Stuff like that. But like I think I mean yeah I guess they're just like dog names. Like it's just gonna be what I'm gonna name my next dog. Like, just like dog name or, or if you were to name a dog. Uh, those chunky fingers. That's a good question. <laughs> From hitting people. Oh, oh you broke it. Wait See that? Right. Those fat fingers okay. just back in the screen. Yeah we do. Look look. Okay. Sorry, guys. What, is he, what are you trying to, trying to do? Trying to there's, this question, uh, there's question boxes on there, oh, too. Oh, okay. That one? Yeah. Uh, at the uh, bottom, there's a question box. This one here? Nope. Oh, question box. Got it. 
ask a question? All right, cool. We're good on that part. Let's okay. go back to that. And nobody's asking any questions? Well, because we did like an on the Yeah, but then nobody's asking on that live. Thing. Yeah. Cool. Oh, there's a bunch of people on that one. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. You know, <laughs> those, but... All right, guys, we're not going to be answering those guys. I can't <laughs> no, read it. Really it's important amongst those people that are actually shooting in live, but it's important to right? right? So like, like, to get really through really close to oh, read. Anything actually worthwhile and good? Let's yeah, have a look. You gotta go all the way to the top says, now. Stay aware. Okay, so okay, aware okay. Here we go. Here we go. What's up, guys? Okay, and this, that means you just need to drink more, Corey. No, oh no, Chelsea. Okay, okay, okay. All three of you, <laughs> all three of you ugly mugs broke the internet. Good shit, yep. Corey. Thank you. Jones is it? Oh, apparently the internet's taking a break. Okay, there's really, <laughs> there's really nothing. Board and trains or Sophie? That was my question. Board and trains or in person or classes? Not sure what that means. Board and trains are not in person, nor are they in class. Or, I mean, they are in person, but yeah, that's it. There's nothing, nothing else on that. So, uh, Stay where it keeps you low. Should get some guesting would be. Mm -hmm. Big jump. All right. Any okay. more questions? Questions. Um, people want to know what your favorite memories of Matt and Lee are. Like oh. one of your favorite memories. Oh, memories in the corner of my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say like Matt dancing. Like I have so many videos <laughs> of Matt fucking dancing. <laughs> Like, I need to, like, Mike accident, like, what did you, I think there's one that you deleted from your phone, like, I was so mad at Mike's, I was just like, I, I have a folder, okay? Like, <laughs> I have a folder because, like, Matt will just, like, hone in on Mike, and he'll just, like, stare at him, and he'll, like, do this, and they'll pretend to rope him, and, like, pull him him. like Matt does all this stuff, and, like, you can watch Mike actually get uncomfortable, which is something that's really, um, that, that's does not, yeah, yeah, that's it's rare. really hard to do, so, like, watching Matt make Mike uncomfortable is probably one of my favorite things. <laughs> and I'd say for like for Lee, uh, my favorite memory mobile like this was we had Lisa oh, on a cool, skateboard. Oh, cool! a skateboard. We had Lisa on a skateboard, and we put a harness on Malice, and then we were fucking throwing a ball for Malice, and like so he's <laughs> on this like skateboard, and it's just like wobbling. And then of course like Lee, shit, he's wearing these fancy jeans he has from Greece, which apparently is like a thing. They're not. No, they're not they're just because they're from Greece. They're just old Lee boys. They're just old, right? <laughs> and, <laughs> anyway. Like, I can't ride a skateboard, let's get that out. You were sitting on your butt, you were sitting on your butt, that was the best part, they just got to be too much, and then they just fell off. that was on that new asphalt. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. like, oh. brand new stuff, and they just goes, oh, look at That's why all of them. I burnt my ass <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Dude, that fucking Dude, asphalt, that, that asphalt that stuff was nasty. It was a like sandpaper. All of our dogs had like yeah. clean nails. Right, yeah. All the time. Right. And that's why when we did groundwork, Matt wore pants like this, and you know. Just Dude, that's the, the calluses that our dogs developed from that concrete. Like, they could walk anywhere. Anywhere. Like, yeah. with, for whatever heat tendency and go on anything from that shit. Uh, yeah, that was like that. Me falling off a skateboard was... <laughs> I was that a video of it, too. Mike, your favorite yeah. memories of uh, Matt and Lee? I can combine it into one, but it's going to be mushy, so get ready, motherfuckers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a drink first? I'm going to hide in my cup. So my favorite memory of Matt and Lee is when everyone ditched us, and we were sitting in the back of uh, Mass, or not Mass, we're in Bascom, and I remember talking to you guys about like, all right, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna open up this new thing, we gotta pull together like that, but I was really sick, and I was like, all right, cool, like I think I'm gonna be like gone, like I'm like I'm well, I was told I was gonna be dead, and I remember just like sitting there talking like with like no one else, everyone has just disappeared from my life, and I had. I haven't seen Ivy in, I don't know how long, because her mom or whatever, and all this other stuff. But I remember just sitting there and, like, talking to you guys in the back. And, uh... <laughs> it sucks, because, like, you guys stepped up for me when no one else has. We got you, bro. It was a rough time, man. It was definitely, uh... A learning curve for all of us through that that period. Well, being like most people understand, like that, it's not a when you go through a specific amount of stuff. Like there's, you know, there's levels levels of stuff, and like the fact that like I was able to like people I just met within a couple of years. Not even then. No. And then yeah, I mean, months, yeah. Find those less than six months. Yeah. But months. at that point, and just sit there and be like, "Hey, dude, I'm gonna die." Are you guys, do you guys want to, do you guys want this? Like, this is what you need to do and just try to force it as much as possible. Through, through our conversation in the show. Yep. yep. Absolutely. I'm going, yeah. We had a conversation. We had a conversation after that. After that. After that. After that.
going, okay. Crack house, sorry. You know, the crack den, the crack den, the crack den. We didn't have a crack den. It was crack a shed, crack crack shed <laughs> that we peeled in to get out of the rain. We just called it the crack den because it looked kind of sketchy. It was just kind of... It was just like, just like really small and stuff. It was just like a plastic shed, so it was just kind of shitty. Go to the crack den. But yeah, me and Matt had a chat after that, going, oh, fuck. Well, fuck. All right. So we're going to have to do this then. Oh, still so, okay. We're doing it. And then, like, within a week, okay. we're, we're just like. Like idiots. <laughs> just like going, almost like everything was normal. It was just like, okay, well, I'm going to die, so let's just keep moving forward then. Okay, bye. I was like, uh, uh, what do you mean? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. And I was like, that's my favorite memory to see that was that. Once I said it, like we went through it, and I was like, "All right, cool." Like we started implying, implying things. I was sleeping in the other room, like just being able to, like, just get, just try to get through whatever we can get through. And, like that's for me. Although it was, although it was extremely shitty times uh, and not good at all. Good so it was very bad times. This is obviously a little bit dim, but you know, I think it was light in, in the mood here. Without that, yeah. without I mean, that, we wouldn't be where we are. I mean, fuck, like where we're at. That's gonna redeem. What? This is your favorite memories of? No, absolutely not. But that's but that for me is my favorite moment, <laughs> just because I, <laughs> at that point, like I I don't come from a place where I've had a lot of family, a lot of support, a lot of anything like that, and like that for me was one of my favorite moments in general, just because it was, I got literally, you know, was talking to, you know, my brother's like, hey, this is where we're at. This is, this, we're at ground zero. It was real talk. I think we were negative in the bank account. I think we were like, we well, we were still we were getting kicked out. We had no clue what we were gonna go, and then we just I just I, I had stage four stomach cancer, and it was, it was like, hey, like this is where we're at. Like this is where we're gonna go, and the fact that these two men stepped up um, for me and stepped up for Parmal Canine, it's easy. <laughs> Cheers. Um, and then Aaron came in to save <laughs> with everybody in the house. It was a lot more chaotic before and oh yeah. We need lots of random kit. We'll be like, why what are we doing? How's this gonna go down? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do it. So I can okay. kind of like we're fucking going home. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? You need to be up early. <laughs> Did you get the smirk? <laughs> You're like, uh, oh, um, okay, bedtime, Mike, bye. <laughs> so one day, question from the box, is there anything you did early in your careers that you would thought was the best? Dango is wild. Girls gone wild. Girls is there anything wild. you did early in your careers that you thought was the best way to do something, but now you look back and go, yeah. dang? I was... <laughs> <laughs> You missed it on camera, but Leah had to tuck them cheeks as Aaron came back. <laughs> I've never I mean, there, was just, there was just silence then. I knew Mike was there, and I still felt sketch. Oh, I've never slept with him, so I don't know what he's doing. Okay, so, is there anything you've done that you wouldn't do different? That you thought that you'd walled on? I never... Uh, I personally never thought that, like, anything that I was doing indefinitely was, like... Or nothing I thought what I was doing was indefinitely. I always thought there was a better way of doing things and just continuing to like, learn from there. Like we all knew like there was always more stuff because we always got in fucking arguments. Didn't we like trying to figure out like new things? Like yeah. to, some of it didn't make sense. We had baseline stuff that I learned throughout the years, especially when I was teaching these guys. Um, you know, I beforehand these guys had come, I had been training dogs for shit, I don't even know, sixteen years or what's that, twenty years now, so the four years, so yeah. Well, about 20 years, um, 16 years. So, like at that point, like I was just kind of learning as we I was going, and I'm a firm believer that the one way that you know now is not the best way. It's always going to continuously change, especially with the amount of dogs being bred, the lines are being bred, um, and just just different things. I mean, if you look at if you look at like just the breeding in general, I mean, now we're in fucking clones. I mean, if you look at advanced canine systems, like, you know, they use clones <laughs> and like, you know, they're doing that stuff. So like, that's more people they're they, not to say they are the ones, but more people are going to be doing that and they're going to be cloning dogs that are going to be different. So there's going to be a lot of genetic stuff that's going to be changing. There's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be happening. And that I think like within the next four to five years, I mean, it's still going to develop, but, um, 
I mean, for the most part, it's always been continuously learning. I've never been stuck to one thing. I've always been thought like, okay, like we do this, and are right, we gonna continue to do this? All right, we need to change and we do that to this dog. And it's, I mean, I would say the same thing. Like when we had the kennel, like when we were on the kennels, there, all right, we do this to this dog, we do this to this dog, and we go from there. Yeah, he's always evolving for the right reasons. Uh, Leads into the next question that's on that piece to you is uh, if you've only trained any exotic breeds. Mm-hmm. You had that Kaiken? Yeah, you said it was Kaiken, yeah. Yeah, Tyridge back. Yeah. Is it Commodore? Commodore, yeah. That's good. So are we already uniform on that first question? Yeah, first yeah. question. Yeah. Matthew. Yeah, the, what would you do? Like, <laughs> you did you something? give me drinks and be like, what was the first question? <laughs> Just <stop. laughs> About like seeing something and then you think. The Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> Fast. All right, what do you got on the next <laughs> questions here? <laughs> Keep it going. Who <laughs> favorite dog names? Oh, favorite dog names. I mean, that's kind of weird. Cause like, do you, do you, does everybody have favorite dog names? Maybe they didn't like, like dogs that they have not used. Or like, I was thinking clients because like I have uh, Brownie and Sunday. Oh yeah, I remember those uh, songs. Yeah, big great, uh, great game. And one. Yeah. I remember them too. I like them. They were funny. Uh, I mean, I got a guy named Dude. Oh yeah. yeah. He's like Dude. You go Dude. Dude. <laughs> and you go Dude. <laughs> and then you're like, are you saying that I'm Dude? Is he, is he a golden lap? No, no, he's a pity. He's <laughs> <laughs> Just see this big golden gun. Yeah. He's a little fat. Dude. <laughs> he's an awesome man. Who's the Who's the golden that was the board and train? Like me, Tucker. Tucker, Tucker, yeah. Tucker, yeah. Tucker, yeah. Tucker, yeah. Tucker, yeah. Back to yeah, back. I can never remember which one which. Tams yeah. or Tucker, but they're, they're both. both just like fucking adorable. But what was yeah. that? Atticus. Atticus. I had the best down. Uh-huh. <laughs> just flopped down <laughs> through the floor. That's a good name, Atticus. Atticus. Sam Book is pretty cool too. Oh, boo. And, yeah, to yeah, me though, that, that reminds me of like my 18, 19, just, like drinking Sam Book in uh. like Spain. Uh. Oh, <laughs> more. Tastes like ale. And meat. Like licorice. No. Or, uh, it's like syrup shit. Like when we used to, we went to Mallorca and like. Just, like where where is that like? Spain. A Spanish, okay. a Spanish island. Mallorca. <laughs> Mallorca. <laughs> yeah, it's just a party place. And then, and then the people like walk down Bar Street. There's people just like, hey, you want to come in here? We'll give you two shots of Sambuca free. And we're like, okay. Like, and you go to another bar and they give you more shit for free. And you can still get drink it. Yeah. 18? Yeah. In England? Oh, and then you went abroad, like, you know, I was drinking like 16. <laughs> <laughs> like, not. It was like so long. Mom knew, she found me a couple of times, like, you know, either You're asleep, asleep. Like, asleep <laughs> at the top of the stairs, fully closed. <laughs> 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 you know, no, I'm like, you're so hammered, you're like, <laughs> you're just like dying. Just trying to get it out. Yeah. And you're working funny clothes. Lee's also, Lee's dad's a badass. Lee's dad took a bite from Ozzy. Oh, yeah. 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 Dude. And he didn't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah, I've got, my, I got, my, I got a picture of my dad. Right? So, like, yeah. before we start this, oh, no. the, this part the best part about this story oh, no. is that mom. Only request was no. Ozzie. Come on! Why are you going through that? To that shit? Like, Ozzie like talking about not. parents and nasty <laughs> shit. I'm gonna keep talking over it. Hey, they don't is, need to know that stuff. That is mom. My mom had a couple of shandies as well. <laughs> no, that, mom is mom. We protect her at all, and mom and dad all the same time. But her don't damage the goods. <laughs> my her, mom. Like, so tell, tell him not to damage the goods. She basically told everybody <laughs> for Ozzy not to bite his dick. <laughs> so that's what the question is. Anyway, the picture, the picture I got my dad. I was just in the bike and yeah. his face is looking like this, and one of his fingers is like all like <laughs> and stuff. He's like, he told me about it. He's like, he bruised, he bruised me. Like, he's like, a, he doesn't do anything with like, the bites and stuff too, doesn't he? Just he just sat, he just sat there, and then he was in the chair. Yeah. And I'm just thinking, he's, he's, like, like, he's looking like this, and one of his fingers is like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't really. I'm like, yeah, like a little bit of a surprise. He's like, oh. Right. I think right. you were just like this, doing this, and I was like, "Yo, oh, yeah, your you're a dancer." Your mom's like this, yeah. crying. No, I remember the first time. Just don't damage that the mom goods. Dad came no. when we were in bath. Yeah, yeah. mom like made sure that she like. Best what did she say? She said, "Don't." That was, no, the phrase was, "That's my baby." Yeah. <laughs> like she, she wanted to make sure that like, you looked after me and stuff. I'm like, as, I'm, as, I'm, as, I'm, as I'm getting his beats, he's he's in in my mom's like, "You keeping him safe, though, right?" And my mom, I'm like, "Yeah, but." No. <laughs> Oh, it's about like asking if it's a breed you haven't worked with yet. 
So that you uh, like to do. What about you? I mean, I don't, I can't even name a breed. I haven't really worked. I want to really uh, see like a little terrier breed. Like get them on a sleeve and send, send them into the fucking ankles. Like a Pomeranian? No, like oh, with them oh, like the jagged terriers. Yeah, terrier yeah so like, like that was what I would think. Like yeah. I'd love to work one of those. Like a little tiny one that like, really? Just this little thing? But it'll fucking snap yeah. your ankle. Oh, yeah. It'll snap your Achilles yeah. tendon and send you down and then one of, them, one of their other dogs is going to do the rest. <laughs> I'm not into violence, but like thinking about a little dog, I was just sending sure. a fucking nasty. Just a little, little dog. I worked a little. I worked a little dog with a late. He was a late dog, but that was like six years ago. No, really. Oh, that's <laughs> Boston. Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah, we're on our show. Stood up at our door right now while we're doing the show. I would say. Question. Um, okay. Have you called him on tattoos? Um, so one of the questions somebody asked me is, "What's the worst bite you guys have ever gotten? Like worst, like bite work, like worst bite. Like, where was it? And what I, uh, wasn't bite work. I've gotten bit in the face a couple of times. Mostly huskies. <laughs> um, bite work, bite. I would say. Maybe more close calls, like Kruger almost ripped my shoulder out. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I think off the fence that flex. Um, yeah, um, but I don't think I've really, like, I haven't gotten a hand bite or anything like that during bite. Oh, uh, you know, uh, Sabre and Get? Yeah, so they bit you in Which the face. Which one of them bit me in the face? Uh, Sabre. Sabre, I think. Yeah. IPO3 dog, by the way. IPO3, just a fucking brute. Yeah, like and, 120 uh, pound Shepherd. Turbiran, yeah, and they sent him in on a guard and he goes, bah! Bow, bow. And I was yeah. just like, oh, what? <laughs> yeah. It just felt like he punched me in the face. It was just like, oh, that was new. Right on. And then. And the same dog that week, uh, Chip Please Creep did. Oh, yeah. Thing. Yeah. Sure did. Mike, Absolutely. Uh, worst bite you've gone? Like during bite work? Yeah, oh. like worst bite or like. But I got a lot. During bite work? Have you torn anything or like sprained anything during bite work? Well, I mean. I well, those are bit you in the face. <laughs> That's why my scar here. There's that um, one Aussie slit your eyelid open and your nose. We split this open slit here. Uh, that was and, uh, bite, yeah. I would you know, knock me unconscious. I've torn my shoulder. I've torn my knee. I've torn. Hit you in the balls pretty hard. If you oh, yeah, yeah. Torn your balls. Torn my balls. I would say right. probably the worst, like the most formidable, like one I would say is like the one where I got a live bite on the bicep. Um, uh, squishing out sleeves. And this is a dog named Duco. But he came in, I slipped the sleeve, I grabbed another sleeve to teach him the out. The handler let the, the leash go. And then the dog went onto my bicep, or I think it's on this bicep here because I saw the scar on my uh, tattoo. Uh, and I had to hold him in because I didn't want to tear. Because I didn't want him to tear anything. So I was literally holding him in and then I told the, the handler, I was like, how to pull the dog is actually on me. And I was just like, all right, cool, like, just do that. I don't. I let that go because I was like, cool. I sprayed like peroxide or some other stuff on it, which lit, litter, or litter infected my cut. So I'd use back team, not peroxide. Uh, and I had to go to the vet too, which I will not disclose. My head is one of those vets. That's yeah. Mike's doctor, by the way. Because he's vet. fucking Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> he had to go to the vet. So, the other question was the worst. Uh, Best slash worst bite you found in your family, like like the worst like like yeah like bite like, bite injury. Yeah, so like w the worst injury you sustained during my birth. Oh, the worst injury you sustained in my birth. So like I got like worst. Um, uh, malice bite me on the foot. That <laughs> fucking hurt. <laughs> that, that. that fucking hurt. <laughs> mm, Cerberus like bite me in the ribs for the pack left poster. <laughs> Um, Cerberus bite me when I was fucking with him in the drove and he bit me on the arm. <laughs> um, oh, recent one with Kaiko. When you're like, when you're like, nah, dog say he's going high. <laughs> Just steps straight into the fucking leg, right? And then we do a handler scenario. <laughs> so like, dog, 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 dog clean as a whistle. Bites me in the fucking hip. Uh, no, 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 Doesn't no. bite soft. <laughs> no. Does not bite soft. No. Not one fucking bit. That. Dog. This little blemish, that's from Kaiko. Yeah, he takes hard. Yeah. So yeah, I mean that's. Other than that, maybe. I was saying like that. Uh, when was it? Save our gates, chapter two. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, that's, that's that's yeah. I mean, that was my own fault though. 
kind of ish. I was fuck. I was like fucking him, and I didn't know what I was going to do. <laughs> and then he come up and he's like, "Well, what are you doing?" And then that's when he just, yeah, I have to worry about that. Gary almost talked to him once. Oh yeah. But I fucking, you know, no, no. Gary did too bad you that one time. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> Lucy, 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 Lucy,
and you look back at it and go, man, I can't believe we fucking did some of the shit that we did. Or we, but at the time, it was just normal. So yeah. I don't see it as like, hey, we're doing this cool job. And I'll see myself as like this celebrity, this rock star that's like touring the country, doing this cool shit. Like, just, I don't know, I'm just training dogs, doing what I need to do, having fun, meeting cool clients, cool dogs, and just trying to appreciate it as best I can. Sweet. Who's question? Uh, how's it feel on the coolest job in the world? Oh, we're pretty fucking lucky, right? I mean, fuck <laughs> like we're fucking lucky, right? We still have our health, the sun shines, man. I live in California. Above all, if I didn't have this, I'd still live in California. That's so, like, we're so blessed. I know it's, you know, shitty, you know, with the fires and, you know, we don't have the best of climates, I guess, in some of the natural stuff that happens. But for the most part, we live in one of the most picturesque, beautiful places in the world with a lot of money to be made. And, we pay for we pay to live here, but the best place in the world to live. Pretty lucky to do it, and then to get to train dogs, bring me to do what I want when I want, enjoy what I want when I want, do what I want when I want, and it's enough for me to keep smiling every day and keep doing it. Yeah. I, mean, I, had a, I mean, I had an office job before I moved here, so I mean, I trained dogs back in Minnesota for the primal there, and then. So before everyone, I don't know if everyone knows this, Aaron used to run and own Minnesota Primal Canine. Continue. <laughs> Twin Cities, BC. Right. So I did that, and then I was in school full time, and then uh, I worked at the DOC um, as well, so I was there full time. So just, you really re realize, like, working, like, a place with that, like, how, like, buttoned up you have to be, and that you can't have, like, I mean... Since I worked in like a government office, especially it's like you can't have like opinions about things. You'd be very careful what you say. Like you, have to, you know, you have to dress a certain way. Like you know, you're tattooed on your face. Yeah, exactly. Like I was had to, I had to hide all that stuff too. I was not allowed to have any of that showing. Um, <laughs> yeah, you just like <laughs> fucking. How's it going? Yeah. You just have to slap yeah. your face all the time. I cut well, my mean, face shaving every day. Let me think. Just spelled <laughs> this way. <laughs> it's my hair. Let me, let me think of that. It's your eyebrow. Uh, it's your eyebrow. Can you imagine Ben putting on makeup every day for that? We're gonna have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We can try. But finish off. No, I'm still like, right. 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 That's fine. We're, so we're just we're lucky to do this. Like I had, like so, like not long ago, I had a different job, like where you know, it was allowed to really like be myself or like the same thing. That was always the advice I was given is just like stay there, like keep your head down. If someone talks to you, like it's just surfacey conversation, like. I had to wear really fucking uncomfortable clothes to wear too. Like, like polyester, like button up shirts. Like, no. like, yeah, well, I mean, just like, you know, like the, the fucking like women's dress pants. And it was just like, you just sat at a desk where there's no fucking windows. And like, I don't know, just like it sucks. And it's just like, here you get to spend, I had to be with, you know, person I love every single day. I had to be with people that like are my friends. We had to joke around. We had to be with our dogs. And it's like, you know, we like, we essentially like make our own schedule. So like, I just, you know, you can't complain about some of this because there's people that have extremely impressive like lives and jobs and we don't have that at all, so. Yeah. Can we get this one? Can we get this music? Yeah. To come to work too? We're, no, it's we're perfect. We're actually blessed every day. <laughs> we're, we're literally blessed. Thank you. Um, what's the best part of all doing what we're doing? Uh, How does it feel to have the best job? I would, I mean... I was <laughs> 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 like... What's the fuck? Like, what cost? I mean, I'm not doing, like, water maintenance in, in like, a tropical island. Like, that might be kind of cool. I yeah. mean, like... Lifeguard? Like, in the Bahamas? Lifeguard in this PG? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, like, you... It's a... It's a I, 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 I always view it as, like, a blessing and a curse in the same sense. Like, I feel like it's something that we... Like, you know, the moment we, the, mo the moment I wake up, there's immediately something to do, whether it's my dogs, whether it's the business, whether it's, you know, whatever, you know, that management, stuff like that. But, you know, I just, I feel like it's, um, I feel like it's, a, it's still a blessing, like, no matter what, like, I, you know, our success and our detriment is going to be based on us. And we get to work with some of the most loyal beings on the planet. You know, we get to work with dogs, we get to be and do that stuff, even though they're pain in the ass, like, so, like, most of the, like, some of the times, but, you know, we still get to work with Wait, them, we still get to do that. Yes. Because they keep flapping you on the ass, that's why it's fucking <laughs> annoying. But I'm not the dog. That's the Harambe animal. That's, yeah. the, that's a different animal. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, I still feel like, you know, dealing with the business stuff, I, 
it's good. I, I I love it. I mean, it's I wouldn't do. I would I would not trade this for anything in the world. I think this is probably, especially because we're at we're at worth in you know primal canine. Um, I wouldn't change this change this for anything in the world. I, I, this is you know where we're at, and this is. I mean, you can't really be can't really complain for setting your own schedule schedule and working with fucking dogs. I mean, there's times that are tough. We get the shit kicked out of us constantly. Uh, days are long. Days are even the days are enjoyable. So they're not long. I mean, for like most people, like work nine to fives, we work open eyes, close eyes. I mean, but we get to work with dogs. We have fun. So, I mean, I would say the answer to that question is pretty fucking cool to be able to do what we do. Any more questions, guys? Where are we at on time? I didn't get any because I didn't do the question answer. Oh shit, we're already there. I didn't realize this was going to be. I thought this was more of a meet and greet. Thing. <laughs> we could just do a whole bunch of like office quotes that would probably be applicable. <laughs> like, Gregor was there. It's like, what does it sound like? Oh, like uh, he's not the sharpest uh, crayon in the drawer. He fucks it all up. Right. <laughs> well, I'm going to end the video. <laughs> Since we're already approaching the topic. I'm going to do the fucking slide show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one question. Oh, hold on. Is that you one don't thing? have to be crazy to live here. But oh, no, it's the same fucking one. Yeah. <laughs> it's Ryan. It's Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, this is the PC family here. So, uh, follow everybody on there on the little side thing there. I appreciate you guys for joining in. Um, and yeah, thanks for episode 11 of Drinks and Dogs. And yeah, thanks guys. Cheers. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Papa Bowie.